Russian President Vladimir Putin at a meeting with the mothers of those mobilized for the war against Ukraine said that it is better to die in the war than to burn out from vodka. This is how he responded to one of the mothers present, who showed him a portrait of her killed son. We will all leave this world someday, it's inevitably. The question is how we lived. After all, some people lived or don't live incomprehensibly. But they live because of vodka or something else. But your son lived. You see, his goal is achieved. This means that he did not live life in vain. However, experts assess Putin's words as a strong insult to the Russian people. He says that nothing better than an alcoholic will come out of Russians anyway. In general, no one is able to offend the Russian people like the Russian authorities, to be honest. It seems to me that this is such a wiping in the face of Russians, that other people would be offended. In general, these are very cynical words of his part. Meanwhile, those mobilized in Russia are dying before they are sent to war in Ukraine. Some of them commit suicide, while others die under unclear circumstances, Medusa News website writes. So, it became known about another mobilized from Tuva, who died in a military camp in Novosibirsk. Moreover, according to local authorities, this happened due to the use of alcoholic beverages. Officials claim that an investigation is underway, but it is not indicated under which article the criminal case has been initiated. By the way, in early October, on the territory of the Novosibirsk Higher Military Command School, the corpse of a mobilized man from the Novosibirsk region was found. The criminal case was initiated on October 3rd under the article Murder. Earlier, 35-year-old Alexander Koltun, mobilized from Bratsk, died there. At the funeral, his relatives noticed obvious traces of drunkenness in the deceased. They said on the phone that he died from low-quality alcohol, that he had been drinking there for several days. Now they are talking about heart failure. From the publication of the Facts newspaper. According to the statistics of the Ministry of Health of Russia, almost 1,200,000 people suffer from alcohol addiction in the country. However, data from the Rating Information Communication Center and the Sober Russia Project for 2021 show that there are about 3 million people suffering from alcoholism in Russia. The largest number of Russians with alcoholism was recorded in the Magadan and Sakhalin regions. According to Alexander Pali, the Russian government has always encouraged the consumption of alcohol, so there are often more fake alcohol on the Russian market than real ones. In addition, the development of alcoholism in Russia is also influenced by the geopolitical situation and economic instability. And a glass for Russians, according to experts, is a way of escaping from reality. Various problems in the country and increasing anxiety, of course, contributes to drunkenness. But even more drunkenness is facilitated by the fact that in Russian society people are devalued. They cost a penny. Their personalities, that is, they feel oppressed. They drink a lot in order to get out of this oppressed state and feel like a man. Meanwhile, about 40-50 thousand people die every year in Russia from poisoning by surrogate. We are talking about liquids that are not intended for oral consumption, such as triple cologne and glass cleaner. Even worse than fake alcohol is a surrogate liquid, like the well-known Hotorn, which is sold in Russia in such special bottles, which is designed to be consumed by alcoholics. In order to sell it as a kind of medicine, there would be no corresponding taxation. That is, this is such a circumvention of the law and, in fact, the ditching of the people by the same government for corruption reasons. According to Russian experts, alcoholism in Russia has acquired the scale of a humanitarian catastrophe, which neither the modern Russian authorities nor the international community prefer to notice. According to the head of the Russian Institute of Demography, Migration and Regional Development, Yuri Krupnov, by 2050 the number of Russians may decrease from 143.5 million to 80 million people if the government does not take urgent measures. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Victoria Sinko, UATV News.